It's a good idea to have a page on your website that includes all of the board contacts so people know who to get in contact with if they have a question and who's running the organization. Within the site, we have a pre-built template that allows you to populate the contacts page with information from individual records. You can see I have a page set up currently. So now my page includes two members of the board. To add additional members, we simply need to search for them in our database and add them to the board, and their information will populate here. Let's see how to do that. First, I'm going to log into the site with my admin password. Once I'm logged in, I can click Add Contact, and this will allow me to add a new person to my database, or I can search for somebody in the database. So from here, I'll go to Members, Look Up Members, because I already have somebody in the database that I want to add to the board. Now, from here, I'll search for this person by name. Once I've found this person, I can go into their record and then click on the Teams tab. From here, I'm going to add them to the pre-built board team. And then I'm going to assign them a position. But you'll notice in the position field here that I only have a few positions, coach, assistant coach, manager, referee, and player. If I want to add a new position, perhaps like treasurer, I would add that in the new position field. Once added, I can click submit to save. Now, if I log out of my site, I can navigate back to that contacts page, and we'll see that we now have three people on the board. And here's our third position as the treasurer. Notice if they do have information in their record, it would appear here, such as their phone number, email address, and uh, their address. 